Oh, oh, spaz mode. <laughs> hey, no, there's no knowing what's gonna trigger his spaz mode. But his ears go back and he starts running as fast as he can. Okay, taking a pizza box out. <laughs> we really like pizza in this house. And I wanted to show this cool cardboard storage trick. This is my city's green waste compost recycling program. But because I do all that in-house, on site, this hardly ever goes out to the curb. This is one of those um, marital compromise mises, yeah, that you make. He's still in spaz mode. Oh, that's a bunny part. Oh, that's old. That's from the summer when we had a cat eating our rabbits. So I was saying, <laughs> when this is not being used as a swimming pool for my kids, uh, it's just, it's empty. So I thought I'll keep my cardboard nice and dry and nice and stacked in there over the winter so I can use it come spring to do kill mulches. ba -bing. Anyways, the second part of, of this video is to ask you guys, are you a nice pretty homestead? Or are you a, homestead, a nice pretty homestead with less projects going on? Or are you a homestead that has so many projects going on that it's ugly and it looks messy? This is actually picked up and cleaned for us. What do you need? We picked up. I've made the kids help me clean up. So, yeah. The only thing left to do is roll up those tarps. Roll up. Roll up. Oh my gosh. Maybe this video is just about Spike the Spaz Dog. Hope you guys don't get dizzy. Uh, yeah, we're cleaned up. We're cleaned up. We're ready for winter, guys. We're ready for winter. If I had one ounce of energy left, it would be to rake all these wood chips back where they need to go and to stack all these sunflower stalks in one of these raised beds, bring in a load of manure and cover them so that they could try and break down. Uh, I could, I guess, dig out all this if I wanted. This is left over from the rabbits, but it's, it's good stuff. Um, and I bet in here it's getting nitrogen heavy. Do you guys need help finding your food this morning? We had a bunch of bread that was overbaked and so no one wanted to eat it. So I soaked it in the whey from our um, yogurt. I made yogurt last night for breakfast this morning and it was a little not thick so I strained it and the whey I soaked for their bread so they would eat the bread. And of course there's all those raspberries. I hate, I hate to see those wasted, but they were starting to have little, they were starting to go bad. And the kids were like, mee, mee, mee. So I picked out the really good ones, froze them, and chickens get the rest. Recycling. Nothing's wasted on the homestead. 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 And going along with uh, preparing for winter in the garden, I want to take all this hay, this alfalfa hay, that I allowed to go moldy and put it on top of all this. But for now, food is more important. Walnuts, apples, pears. Is there anything else to forage right now? Leaves, leaves. 
please. Ah, leaves are something that I have to go scouring for, searching for, and some of you are just blessed with acres of woods and moisture where you get leaves and they just compost for you. <laughs> to each climate their own. Thanks guys for watching. I hope you have a great day. I hope you have all of your winter prep done. Grow something today, even if it's yourself.